Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. My name is Dave Gilpin, Principal Product Manager for Oracle Linux, and we're here today to talk about Kata containers. So containers are great. Clearly the market has embraced the containerization migration. It's like everybody's talking about containers, and Kubernetes is all the rage for container orchestration. So I've got a pretty neat little high-level diagram on the board. We're going to start over here. So this is a classic classic container type technology, container D or uh, Docker. Everything runs on a kernel. And then each of the containers run inside a namespace. Same thing over here. And then you actually have your process running. And everything's fine, containers are great. Uh, very low overhead as far as that is concerned, but there are some compromises. Container image really has the DNA of what makes up that container. If that DNA is con compromised, it'll affect all the containers created from the same image. So there's even more problem if you're pulling those images from a public repository instead of your own CI CD system. In some cases, that container would require root privileges from the container host, which makes a very large attack surface. If one a container gets root access, you could uh, have them all affected. Rootless containers are around, but they can be very tricky to set up and configure. Containers are like cattle. We, name, we number them, we don't name them. They're, they're very short-lived and very disposable, so they come and go very quickly. Problem is, that's a little bit of chaos, and it makes it difficult to tr keep track of them and manage their security and multi-tenancy in an environment like this would be a nightmare. So you could think of Docker, Container D, or sort of a house of sticks type of scenario from the classic nursery rhyme. These containers are easy to build and use relatively limited resources, but security, hmm, there's potential access to CPU, memory, I.O. And since it's all running on the single host kernel, that kernel is also vulnerable. A rogue wolf in the neighborhood or a rogue neighbor might be able to get in and might be able to see some of your data. So if you trust your containers, Container D, Docker is fine. Maybe you built them yourself from your CI CD system. Perhaps the image came from a known and trusted vendor like Oracle. Or perhaps you just have a sandbox environment so anything that happened, some sort of rogue container, would be minimized because it's sandboxed. So we like to call these trusted containers. You trust what's going inside them and you trust the neighborhood. But today we want to talk about something different, something new. Uh, we call it the Oracle Container Runtime for Kata. That's the name of the feature under the Oracle Linux Cloud Native Environment. This was developed by Intel, formerly called Clear Containers. It gives the speed, which in this case is defined as the flexibility or nimbleness of containers, but yet the security of a virtual machine. Kata will run OCI, Docker compatible containers. It looks just like run C. And very importantly, of course, it can be managed by Kubernetes. So if we move over to the following diagram, we're gonna talk about how Kata does things. Instead of just a kernel, what we have everything running, down here is a hypervisor. So the Things that are purple are actually virtual machines with all of its associated isolation. We still have things running in a namespace. And you have your actual process. So this part of it looks very similar. The main difference here is each thing, each container is running inside a hypervisor with all of that security. So you could think of Kata containers as a house of bricks from the classic uh, nursery tale. Each container runs in its own virtual machine, dedicated kernel, isolation of network I.O. and memory. It even can use the hardware reinforced isolation like the Intel VT extensions. Kata containers boot quickly, much quicker than a full VM. This is a very lightweight VM with much less overhead than traditional virtualization. So what we talk about with containers, if you don't trust your containers, use Kata. Perhaps these are the container images downloaded from a public registry. 
Maybe it's an image from a commercial vendor like us, but you want to run that image with some additional security and kind of keep an eye on it before running it with container D. Another very interesting use that we think uh, could happen is for very sensitive workloads, security sensitive workloads, such as medical and financial applications. And of course, if you're doing any kind of multi-tenancy in an environment, you would want to use Kata. So there's a couple of new terms that I'd like for you to leave with today. Think of Kata to be running untrusted containers, or you could think of it as running containers in an isolated runtime. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video today. You can download Kata from the Oracle YUM server. You'll see on the screen some links to some more information. Thank you.